All right, today we are gonna be running through how to set up a wakeboard wake for a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced wakeboarder. There are a few features that you can utilize when setting up the wakeboard wake in the Centurion boat. Now, the, all of these settings are going to be valid for both the RI and the FI series boats. Right now we're in an RI-237, but these same principles will work regardless of what model Centurion that you're going to be in. A few of the features that we're going to utilize is first the center silent stinger plate that's on this boat. This controls the running attitude of the boat horizontally and either lifts or drops the bow of the boat depending on how we engage that plate. If we take and, and engage it more, in other words take it to numbers closer to 100, it's going to push the bow down and it's going to soften the wake behind the boat and make it more of a rolled out and mellow shape. If we take those numbers closer to zero, it's going to stack the wake up and make it more steep and vertical and more aggressive. Right now you see we've got it set to 20, but which is going to be a really steep and aggressive wake, but you can adjust and change that depending on what you want to do. It's a really great tool for both cleaning up the wake and making it ideal for hitting, but also to change the shape and make it more either mellow or aggressive depending on what the rider is going to want. The other feature that you can utilize is our ballast system that we have here. One of the things that's really nice on the Centurions is if you have the ram fill ballast filled when you're wakeboarding, and let's say that you're leaning slightly to one side or the other because you have an uneven distribution of people, you can just simply empty a little bit of that ram fill ballast on either side of the boat and quickly level it off and get the ideal shape that you get on both sides. What you'll see in the, when you see uh, us setting up the wake for riders, it's oftentimes just a little bit washed out on the side that the rider isn't cutting into. That's caused from when the rider is on the outside of the boat and pulling in it pulls and tilts the boat slightly to the side that's totally okay it actually makes it a little bit better landing surface when the rider comes down um, but you'll see that as they cut out to the other side of the boat it's going to then clean up the other side of the wake a little bit better so that's just one thing to keep in mind when you're setting up a wakeboard wake is it's okay that it's not a hundred percent symmetrical when somebody's out there riding so Check this out, we're gonna jump into how we can set things up for a beginner and let you see how we can dial in the wakeboard wake on these boats. All right, we're gonna show you how to set up a beginner level wakeboard wake on a Centurion boat. If you look over here at the dash, I can walk you through all the stuff that I've got going on here. As you can see, this is the ballast screen. I have zero ballast in anything, we're totally empty. When you switch over here to our plate settings, I've got the quick launch turned on. My center plate is roughly around 30%. This one you just want to use to clean up the wake a little bit. Sometimes it's a little lower, sometimes it's a little higher, depending on how many people you have in the boat and where they're sitting. And then I'm running about 20 miles an hour. It's going to be a, it's, the wake is going to be, have a tiny little bit of wash on it at this speed, but for a beginner level rider, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It gives them, it makes it a little bit softer when they come into it. It's a little bit more mellow when they, when they start to learn to jump the wake. And then also if they do take a crash in a fall, it's not nearly as brutal if, if they're taking a crash going 23 miles an hour. So we're going to go through and show you what this wake is like for a beginner level rider. Um, and by the way, we're classifying beginner level rider as anybody who's learning to jump the wake and starting to get to where they can get uh, do some do some grabs or different things and learning to get all the way to jumping from one wake and landing on the transition on the other side of the other Now we're going to be setting up a wakeboard wake for an intermediate level rider. This is somebody who is jumping the wake, wanting to get some good air, maybe learning some different flips and spins and getting a feel for how to really take advantage of the wake and get something a little bit bigger that's gonna have some more boost and pop for them on the wake. You can see right over here, 
I've got the quick launch turned on on the boat. This is gonna help us up to plane because we've got a little bit of weight in the boat. I've got my center tab at right about 45. This is going to change depending on how many people you have in the boat, where they're sitting, some things like that. But the big key here is just adjust that tab so that it's going to get make the wake really clean and nice for the rider. Then over here on the ballast, you can see I've got the ram fill totally drained and the plug and plays totally full. This is going to allow for a few things. First off, it's really easy transitions between things such as surfing and wakeboarding. All you got to do to switch over to surfing or advanced wakeboarding is we just fill the ram fill ballast. Um, and then it also levels out the boat perfectly. So it's going to throw a nice, crisp, clean wakeboard wake for us back there uh, without having to, without it being too much weight or too big. And it's going to be intimidating for, for an intermediate level rider. So Tyler's going to jump back and show us what this weight can do. And we'll check it out and see what it looks like. Alright guys, now we're going to show you how to dial in a professional level or advanced level wakeboard wake. You can see here on my dash I've done a few things. I've changed the speed up to 23 miles an hour. When you're running additional weight, generally you have to run a little bit faster. The weight can still clean up at a little bit uh, slower speed than 23, but 23 is going to make it get the right type of shape and dimension that most advanced riders are looking at. You see on our ballast, we have 100% ballast in absolutely everything on the boat. We are totally filled. And then if you jump over here, we've got our quick launch on, and we've got our, which is gonna take our side tabs to 100, and then our center plate, we have down at 100%. The reason why we have this at 100 is it's going to help us jump up on the plane even easier than just the quick launch. When you're running with this much ballast, right now we're running with about 5,000 pounds of ballast in the boat it can sometimes be a little challenging to get it up to speed for those really advanced riders. What we then do is once we are up to speed, we take that center plate from 100 and we'll typically drop it and reduce it down to about 50, but that's going to vary just depending on where people are out in the boat. The key to this is just reduce your plate until your wake is totally crisp and clean, and then you'll be set to go. So let's take a look at what this wake is gonna look like for Jack as he rides behind the boat. Alright, we hope you found that really helpful and that you, now you can utilize these features that we have to kick out the best possible wakeboard wake for anybody who's going to get behind the boat. Also feel free to check out all of the other videos that we have for more information about things like how to set up your wake surf wave or all of the other different features and benefits in the Centurion boats. Don't forget to check out our website boardco.com for more info. Thanks a lot and we'll see you later.